We get lots and lots of mail here on the Fright Side, and we're going to answer a few questions that we've received in our mailbox. Ooh, I'm so excited! This is a question from Lucy at Sorello in Solon, Ohio. Is your hat magic? Well, there are people who believe it's magic. Uh, I have pulled on occasion some things that shouldn't have fit into it. For example, once I found a bank in my hat, and once I found another cosmos. Once I found a pot of tea, and it was very tasty. The pot. The tea was old. From Loudon Mailing in Cleveland, Ohio, is there a train by your house? As a matter of fact, there is. It's called the Fright Train. And it shakes the whole house every time it goes by. And everyone in the house goes, Nyah! It's great fun. From Ryan Dameron in Aurora, Ohio. Is Hannah afraid of the dark anymore? No, because I have friends who are nice monsters. And also, being in the dark is the exact same as being in the light. <laughs> Except you have to be careful not to bump into things. From Sarah Azzarello in Aurora, Ohio. Harry is funny. Ha ha ha! Well, I'm glad you think that, Sarah. I think I'm pretty funny, too. My jokes, well, oh, the rest of the gang don't get them all the time, but then they're not as sophisticated as I am. <laughs> uh, are they? From Sylvia Ritzler in Lagrange, Illinois. Do you ride a bike? Hmm, riding a bike uh, requires some sort of effort. And I'm not really an exercise sort of person. <laughs> I am a werewolf, after all. We mostly like to sleep and eat. Question number one from Emma and Abby Thompson in Lakefield, Florida. Does the skeleton sleep in the closet? Well, sweetheart, I do everything in the closet. You should see the place. I mean, the doorway might look small, but I've got a gym, I've got a jacuzzi, I've got a whole workout station, a fabulous little split-level living room. You would love it. Now, I've got all my filing cabinets as well, because you got to remember, I'm the keeper of everybody's secrets. And believe me, people have got a lot of secrets. Question number two, from Lucy Azzarello in Solon, Ohio. Mr. Pettibone, do you have a friend? Why, Lucy, I have lots of friends. As a skeleton in people's closets, I get to meet and greet lots of people. Why, I even have a special friend, my ghoul friend, Alna. <laughs> oh, we have the best time. We play in a band together. She plays the trombone, and I play the xylophone. <laughs> Question number one, from Hayden Judy in Chicago, Illinois. How does Bugaboo fit under the bed if he is so big? What I do is, I suck in my breath, and I hold it, and I squish, and I can almost get as flat as a pancake, and I get under the bed, and I'm very, very quiet, and I just lay there until you go to sleep, and then I scare you, and then as soon as I get out of the bed, I let the breath out and float out the window. Yeah. Pretty tricky, huh? From Abby and Emma Thompson in Lakeland, Florida. Is Bugaboo 10 feet tall? <laughs> well, that depends on how tall you are. I may look 10 feet tall, but in actual fact, I'm only about, well, uh, okay, six feet tall. All right, 5'11", who's counting? Does Bugaboo snore? I snore so loud that the only place that I can grab a nap and not be found out is if you're living next door to a subway. And I don't think they have a subway in Lakeland, Florida, so I don't do much sleeping at your house. What's Bugaboo's favorite color? Well, that's easy. My favorite color is yellow. See? 